the option that seems to be the government is saying, everyone else is saying, is that Sri Lanka needs a private partner. So they are basically going back into this Emirates model. You know, they think it will bring us to profitability once again. Uh, how should we do that? And what are the indicators, like what are the things that we have to be very concerned about? Because um, let's say in a situation where there is another pan, I mean, touch, I mean, there's no wood to touch, but then again, you know, uh, touch wood um, to make sure that nothing like that happens again. But in a case, because we had to learn the lessons, Sri Lankan was very instrumental in bringing our people back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was because we had it, we could have commanded, and but in a PPP, that limits to a certain extent. So, what are the things that we have to be mindful of? So you can't totally base, I think government is looking at a uh, 50%. So you also look at the bilateral, the carrier status as well. So I would recommend maybe get the Sri Lankan entities involved as well. Maybe there's some debt, so get the banks involved um, and convert and make those into equity or whatever it is. And so that we have a right balance. And then I think the structure, like how Malaysian or whatever, they, you got to create an investment company, which the government is planning to do. That's the right way to go create and then waste the ownership and so then you will have a totally Sri Lankan ownership 50%, 51% with a private and, uh, type of management and at the same time get an airline, professional airline to do the management, manage the, sign a management agreement. Should do that, it that is an mm -hmm. important thing uh, because um, I mean we had to, if you want to find a quick fix, 